Uh, let's get a little bit of perspective going on the commodity market space. Jonathan Barrett, CEO of uh, Barrett'sBulletin.com is joining in right now for a quick chat on the phone line uh, from uh, uh, Sydney. Jonathan, good morning. Thanks very much for joining in. You know, since the start of October, we have seen uh, that crude prices, they've fallen almost 37%, but the direction in which, uh, you know, this whole Western bloc versus Iran, uh, that standoff has taken, that doesn't augur too well. Yeah, very much so. I mean, I think when you look at the price of oil, um, you can really see that there, we're factored in this Middle Eastern premium. And, and I think that, that given where we are with Brent and crude oil, that perhaps we've got a question whether or not that Middle Eastern premium is actually warranted at this stage of the game. Jonathan, don't you think that there's perhaps a little too much uh, talk about war? Because, you know, all of this uh, rhetoric about war, the only, uh, you know, government it has uh, benefited is perhaps the Iranian government, which is uh, driving, uh, and all this talk is driving up the price of oil. Look, you're, you're very, you're 100% correct. Um, and and I, I think that the premium is as a result of this talk of military action. However, we take note of the comments by uh, President Obama um, that basically said that... Uh, they would not look at a preemptive military strike to any concern. Now, we have to gauge very closely the meeting that has happened between Israel's pre pre Prime Minister and Barack Obama in the next uh, 12 to 13 hours to gauge whether or not what will come. But at the end of the day, um, look, no, I feel that nothing should happen on the military side because it's too, oil is too important to all our economies to see prices escalate to to levels, um, you know, the, the, to historic levels. So I don't think we'll get to that level. Jonathan, there's been some reports about some uh, pipeline at Enbridge uh, which has been shut because two vehicles coll collided and there was uh, a massive fire somewhere in Illinois. Has that had any sort of impact on uh, the prices of crude overall or the, is that something that the commodity markets are taking into account at all? I, I think it's something that the commodity market looks at to see whether it is strategic. Uh, remember, we did have some uh, pipeline concerns in Saudi the other day, and we saw the price skyrocket for Brent and also for uh, West Texas. Uh, I think that's because it was of a strategic nature, but as soon as it came out, then the market realised that it had nothing to do with the conflict, the uh, developing conflict that we have in Iran. The market will monitor them, but only see them as a strategic area if, in fact, something does occur. Any levels, Jonathan, that you'd like to help us with as far as uh, crude oil goes? Um, when, go when, I'm looking at, yeah, when I'm looking at crude oil, particularly on the West Texas contract, I actually feel if we can get back to 103, 10250, then I think that's fair value for it, given that we're still trying to get into a recovery mode for the global economy. So I actually see prices coming back a little bit to 102, 10250, then I'll have a look at it. But we have to stress that the main concern um, is Iran, and that does remain a wild card for us. So uh, if anything happens there, we have to be very close to our screens and prices because, as we've seen before, you can see prices go bid on the back of very little news. We like the figures that you've just given us, Jonathan. Thanks very much for your perspective. Good day to you. Hope uh, all of you there uh, in Sydney and here in India as well, we, all of us, we have a positive uh, and productive trading day. The NDTV News app had redefined the entire genre. Now, another market beater. It's already hit number one. NDTV Profit, India's number one finance app. Download free at ndtvprofit.com slash apps. Live stream of NDTV Profit, market news and your easy to manage portfolio. Download now, ndtvprofit.com slash apps.